Hi, hi guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. If you're new here, consider subscribing. So today we have uh, guests. We're going to be talking about their love story. Uh, this is Comfort and Lucas. Comfort is from Nigeria. Lucas is um, from Poland, but living in UK. So they met online on a Facebook group. And this is a story that you must listen to. So I'm going to bring them on the screen and we start to the story of how they met and how they eventually got married and moved relocated to the UK. So join me if you're my old subscriber. Hi, hi. Welcome to the lovely story today. We are in a very good mood. So go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you think about the story. Let me know what you think. So let me put my guests, our guests on the screen and we start the story, okay? All right, so we have our guests up on the screen and we are going to go ahead and get to know who they are. So welcome, Lucas and Comfort. Uh, let us know who you are, how you met, and take us through your whole story, uh, just briefly. Okay, thank you so much for having us here. Hello, hello. <laughs> so my name is Comfort and this is my husband, Lucas. Um, basically, we just met on, um, on a group on Facebook dating group <laughs> black men or black women looking for white men and so we met and uh, somehow we just clicked and <laughs> voila within few months we got to meet each other face to face because i lived in nigeria and he lived in the uk so in the uk okay yeah so so both of you happen to be on the same page is that the uh, the requirement uh, not really like no, I mean like both of you were on that, what is it, the Facebook page the Facebook. at the same time? Yes. Yeah, it was a Facebook group. Yeah. Okay. So how did it all start? Like who massaged the other? Like how did it go? Could you give us... Oh my God. <laughs> it's bringing all back the memories. I actually, when I joined the Facebook page, I I, I am a very quiet one. I don't really talk much on, the, on social medias, especially kind of, I don't know if I'm just shy really you know but um, I just go through the page look at all the profiles all the men in the page and I know people are writing to me but they're not the kind of people I really liked so I saw his picture like it was I had to scroll down because lots of posts were you know updating you know so I checked and I saw his picture I was like wow he looks really good but I don't really think he's real because he looked too good to be real <laughs> In the picture so <laughs> in my mind i was like maybe this is a fake profile because anyway let me just give it a try and then i went ahead and said hello i wrote to him on his um um uh, messenger i said hello and he he replied surprisingly wow <laughs> yeah. yeah and we just got charging for some time and then, then i added him up like um can you add me up on yeah like your facebook you know so we can be friends on facebook and then <laughs> he gave me a message of my life <laughs> he said um uh what did he say again say it again uh, basically that my facebook profile is like uh public <laughs> and i usually just add people that i personally know so it's <laughs> like there's my profile is fully public so you can go in and have a look through and you know there's nothing like hidden there but <laughs> i don't know you personally yet so it's like i'm not adding it like you know just yeah. anyone as a friend <laughs> because we're not be friends yet yeah. <laughs> oh, you know it was so terrible i don't take rejections so well so i was like oh my god this is embarrassing but that's <laughs> just that's, just, that's it, typical of uh, most of the western people people from the western countries yeah my my husband is the same if he doesn't know you physically or personally he's like 
what's the point? Like, yeah. I don't know who you are, so I'm not yeah. going to add you on my Facebook. Yeah. Like, unless, of course, now we are a big family and just like mm -hmm. you two, yeah. uh, you can have a request and then he can, Lucas can ask you, like, is this your cousin? Exactly. Is this your friend? Or exactly. do you know yeah. who she is because you're mutual friends? <laughs> That's different. But just imagine out That's of the that blue, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. So both of you, how did you know about this Facebook group? Oh, I think I was, um, I joined lots of other social media groups, but I think I just searched on Facebook, just um, stuff concerning white men. And those pages appeared, like lots of groups appeared on Facebook. It wasn't just the group I met him, but there were over five, six, seven I saw. So I joined like three of them at once, actually. So <laughs> Okay. Are they, are they like free? Because I know there are some that they would require you to have some sort of payment. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. but I, I see people they um they they ask me, and sometimes of course I don't know. And that's why your your story was so interesting when I read through. No, when I watched your story on um, on the on the on YouTube, I was yes. so fascinated because so many people think it's um uh, especially people back home you know uganda nigeria wherever they yeah. think mm -hmm. most of these people are scam people these no they're not real and yeah. i did a video about online dating because i have a friend that got his wife online and mm. we do similar videos so we collaborated and did a video like that and people were asking me like no he didn't get his wife on the internet that's not so they don't think it's real so <laughs> they think it's full of scammers if i'm going to scam you of your money you're going to meet scammers but yeah mm -hmm. so um i was it seems crazy i was intrigued that you actually thought the he concept. was real <laughs> and you gave him a chance and you met and that was that that's pretty impressive yeah i did i gave him a chance and he gave me a chance as well despite the fact we're living thousands of miles apart and there was no really I wasn't really sure he wasn't really sure because living in Nigeria and he living here it was just so kind of felt I felt like it was impossible and you know but I just gave it a try like let's right let's, yeah. so Lucas had you been to when Nigeria I, the group, I really thought oh sorry um no the answer is no I wasn't actually I've never visited Africa before us meeting together so when I joined the group I uh, actually assumed that like I'll find people kind of in London area because that's where I live but like 90% is like women in Africa Nigeria Uganda Ghana <laughs> Kenya yeah yeah these are like the most mm -hmm. popular so there's lots of like women from Africa there so I was so like oh, you... you know what let me try speak with like a few women find out like about the culture and this and that okay so when you visited nigeria being that you had never been to africa how was the how was it for you of course it's different if you're living there and if you come as a visitor but still like what was those few things that you noticed that were new to you wow crazy obviously because we spoke so much mm -hmm. on messenger um I knew some things about Nigeria that like, you know, that electricity is not very stable over there. <laughs> you need generators and all yeah, that. Crazy. Um, so I knew little things, but it's very different once you actually arrive there and you experience it like on a daily basis. It's like such a difference to Western world where it's, you know, taken for granted. Yeah. Um, the tiny so, small yeah, thing. I must say it's difficult. Yeah. yeah difficult thing How about the food? like that but i think oh uh, yeah uh, for me electricity food um i really like the food to be honest most of the things i ate yeah like, they did very well i, I think surprised. they were quite surprised all yeah. the family there yeah. that i was like eating it quite i thought he was going easily. to get sick but he was never sick <laughs> did, did you ate... eat fufu <laughs> yes. or yam <laughs> of course he still eats yam yes yes <laughs> The only thing I didn't really like was um, bitter cola. There's a cola they call bitter cola. You know, the, that little knot they give, it's quite bitter actually. 
<laughs> I, I don't think I know bitter cola, but where we live is um there's a Ghanaian restaurant that prepares food, Nigerian food and Ghanaian food. And mm -hmm. recently I went there with my family and the, on my birthday and we had yam and all this Nigerian food for the first time. Yeah. So it it was it was different, but it tasted to me like cassava. Uh, Ghanaian actually their food is a bit different from Nigerians actually seriously they, okay they do both though they do both dishes if you ask for the Nigerian food they'll have it the Ghanaian food yeah. they'll have it but yeah you could be right like yeah it tastes really different I've tasted when Comfort Ghanaian. was uh, pregnant <laughs> wasn't m not long after she came over to UK <laughs> Like after two weeks, really started craving for Nigerian food. So I had to find like a takeaways nearby that prepared African food. <laughs> so the closest one was actually Ghanaian, but they were doing like Nigerian food as well. Mm. Um, <laughs> so we bought something, but Comfort didn't like it at all. Oh. We never visited again. It was terrible. We actually found another one close by that was a Nigerian. Yeah, that was a Nigerian. And cool. then I kept, you know, patronizing the I think the it's baby. just the way you get brought up yeah, eating this I type of so. food. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is uh, for comfort. Like, how did your parents react when you brought in an, a boyfriend, of course, from a different country and more so from a different culture and sometimes it's not so much big deal of arrest but mostly the culture like different country different the difference also it is the, like a long distance they're not going to see you for a long time how did they react to that Ooh, well um surprisingly i was thinking my parents would um you know react in a certain way but being that i'm actually this only girl in my family i have four brothers and I'm the only girl, so my dad losing me, he feels like sending me far away is gonna be losing me totally. So, <laughs> but um, I kind of made uh, Lucas known to them quite early on the phone. They spoke on the phone and saw themselves on video, video calls, and they got, you know, acquainted, like used to each other a bit before he came in. So they were not so shocked. And then he arrived and became, he was really nice. He was so good and my dad kind of just fell in love with him oh that's interesting <laughs> yeah i was surprised like I, my my dad i was always very you know um uh, like he's the last person i would take anything serious to whatever gets to my dad is like at the final stage like this is it i don't you know so when he arrived and he met my dad and my dad just liked him and the way my dad reacted with him i was like oh my god what did you give to my dad <laughs> <laughs> Did you bribe him? It was funny. Because she was saying like, "Whoa, he never does it with anyone." He never does it because her anyone. dad, at the time she was working in a school. So when I was visiting first time, yeah. she always every morning she would go to school, um, you know, work there, and then I would be at home. And usually her dad <laughs> would like, "Oh, let's go somewhere. I'll show you this. I'll show you that." He would take me like to some like a local restaurant or show me generally city. Um, he worked in university, so then he would show me his university where he works. So, like every day, I've really seen something else. Yeah, I was surprised. And it was a really good experience. Yeah, so they didn't take it, you know. They just they just received him as a family, and they didn't feel like they were giving me away because he just mixed up. He is like he had he has like an African blood in him, <laughs> kind of. So he just mixed up with my brothers, my family so well, you know, if not for the complexion, I would have said maybe he's um, an African in a way. <laughs> that, that's really nice to hear. And it, it was the same with me. We didn't yeah. have any issues regarding anything. Mm. They just welcomed him also as a part of the family, my sisters and brothers, and it was really cool. Um, so how about you, Lucas? How did your family react? Ah, they were very, very cool with it. Like, in all honesty, um, I haven't been to Poland for quite a while. So mm. I've been speaking to my parents over the um, messenger, generally WhatsApp. Mm. But we've been doing like uh, group calls as well with my wife. And then when I went to visit Comfort's family, actually at their home, we did like a big conference with my parents. My parents don't really speak English like that well, 
but you know they said hello to each other you know waved at each other and they were quite happy yeah. about everything um but yeah my, my parents were like totally cool with it no problems at all they were really happy they always sort of, like really support comfort with they everything are, they are so supportive um, and we cannot wait when we can actually go and visit them you know yeah. it's so not far away from here but because of the COVID not and so. all the restrictions on travel it's difficult to see my parents you know um and for them to see our daughter they haven't seen our daughter since wow. she was born so wow. it's like a bit of a yeah you know, same with me so it's just we'll see yeah so. covid messed us all up but totally. I mean, we're just positive and wait to see how yeah. you know how it all it's now coming down a bit i feel like and we did some immunization and hopefully mm. we shall be able to travel mm. once yeah. sometime um really so it's similar here mm -hmm. this is for lucas so lucas what after talking to comfort for all this time and also i mean you haven't met and you're just chatting on messenger so what is that particular thing that made you think she was the you know legit or the, like a real person or the actual person you wanted to meet because <laughs> spending your money to go to a country you've never been to it's a big deal it's not it's not small so what is that thing that well, after chatting what made you attracted <laughs> to her and feel like you had to fly over there and see her i guess so to be honest like when we we're talking we we're talking every day i'm not joking every day like since we kind of started talking we've been every single day we've been like on either uh, voice messages calls things like that mm. sometimes like before i go to work and then after i'm back from work so we really got like quite bonded really fast yeah um and you know the main thing is like the personality and you know the how the person is um so when i visited like it was almost like we knew each other straight away um so i i, I knew that it's you know it's the one <laughs> <laughs> yeah i am the one <laughs> <laughs> so for, because we had been talking chatting with each other our voice calls and all that so that that actually connects you because mm -hmm. there are friends that you can have online and you talk to every day myself when i i mm -hmm. have friends that i've never met in person but they're like real the actual friends actually mm -hmm. like especially like ugandans that live here or ugandans that live abroad we have a, a group and we chat and there, there are people that i feel like we are so connected that i feel like i know them and it's crazy because sometimes mm -hmm. i forget mm -hmm. i haven't met these people in person so yeah. imagine if i met them i would feel yes. the same way i'd be like oh so you put a picture to the voice and it's just like instantly you're like okay well i know you yeah yeah that's if true. you think about it because of like how mobile phones um got so advanced you know with having a camera internet being able to call people like on the other side of the globe it's so much easier if mm -hmm. if that wouldn't be the like if it wouldn't exist can you imagine how difficult it would be actually to connect so, with someone in africa or someone from europe it would be so difficult it is mm -hmm. and and it's been it's made easier and it's crazy because before you'd have to buy a card some type of credit card to call True. international and it was yeah. so expensive that sometimes you yeah. can't afford it so you have to mm. wait and do it like twice a month and it's crazy yeah, that's true. but now all i do is get my phone and call my mom and we chat on the as she can talk to my daughter talk to my husband so it's been really nice i, I like mm -hmm. technology it's yeah, made things true. easier for us mm -hmm. it has has really has okay so comfort what was your the culture shock when you moved to the uk what is that first culture shock you got hmm wow <laughs> i guess everything was like a shock to me <laughs> when you live in a country like nigeria and you come over here it's just totally different uh i got in here first of all the weather was a bit shocking <laughs> because nigeria is a very hot place uh, I got here when it was uh, winter. That was around December, so it was still cold, and mm. so I had I had already prepped myself, like you know, because I was told I was arriving, so it's gonna be cold. So I had to like uh, you know suit up, 
wear all the you know wearables and uh, okay the, the the weather was one and uh, then just everything is like a shock to me i can't really start naming them because it's like everything she's overwhelmed she can't even think of i'm overwhelmed and then um the light surprise yes the light because <laughs> like you said earlier on um you don't get to see the light at 24 hours in nigeria you just get to see it maybe two three four hours a day if you see for like te te three hours or four hours at a stretch you're lucky <laughs> so does that happen every day <laughs> yeah most days it does oh wow you can't, you can't have like in fact, maybe once in a blue moon, you could have like a 24 hours light, like a blue oh, moon really? once. Wow. It doesn't happen. You know, I didn't so. know that because in Uganda, we also have blackouts, but you that is like maybe once a month. Like it's not as common as it is. As oh, no. oh. Sometimes you could go like two weeks without light. They'll tell you ah, the transfer, wow. transformer is faulty. It's too hot. Transformer is too hot. It needs oh, to cool down. No, it's crazy. That's, Lots of yeah, excuses. that's so. crazy. Especially for content creators, that would be yeah. terrible. Yeah, I really don't know how. If I was doing like um uh, my YouTube in Nigeria, I'm not sure I'll be able to cope because it's going to be crazy. You know, trying to charge my phone, looking for how to charge my phone, to charge this, charge that. <laughs> It's wow. crazy. Sometimes I, I, I'm always surprised when no my Wi-Fi. phone, I don't even get to charge my phone when I just leave the phone. And when it's almost, you know, the battery is almost going off. I remember, oh, I need to charge my phone. But in Nigeria, even if it's 100%, it's still connected because I don't want to risk. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> you don't want it to die. Okay. <laughs> no. You know, just so many other things, you know, the room. Right. It's just, in fact, yeah, so it's just and like at night, like, so it's different. Uh, yeah, and like you said, also me, I think my biggest culture shock was the weather. The mm. food, yeah, but, you know, the food, you can go about it. You can create, make your own food and it's yeah. not too bad. But the weather was the biggest challenge. The fact that I would have to have all these different clothes. These are for winter. This is for summer. I wasn't used to that. I was used to summer all the time, every day. And now here, yeah, I have clothes in the closet that I would never wear until a certain right. time. That's for me, right. that was so new to me. You have all these jackets that you're going to put away. And then oh, these yeah. are for summer time and then i'm like okay this is so new to me and, yeah it's funny actually think about it you have like different seasons here and shops sell clothes for the season that's just coming whereas yeah. i think in nigeria probably you wouldn't you have anything, buy anything like that all the way around, around they sell the clothes around, if yeah. you want a sweater you can buy it in buy a anytime yeah <laughs> It's it's been really interesting to host you guys. So I've forgotten that you didn't talk about your channel. So tell us about what you do on your channel and you know the name of your channel and how people can find you. Um a comfort foster is the name of my channel. And I basically <laughs> why are you looking at me? Looking at me. Yes, comfort. Once you type in comfort foster, it will come up. And I do lifestyle videos, I do um, product reviews, I do um, cooking as well sometimes, and just so many fun things in the video. So it's just basically fun, fun, fun. My video. It's not right. specific. There's no specific thing I do. So whatever comes to my heart, I just you know <laughs> do it. Just. Yeah, so that, that's good to know. So if you're watching and you'd like to support her or you know ask her question person or something, you want to check her out, just go to uh, go to YouTube, check her out. I'm going to link her YouTube channel in the description box also. I'll pin it on the comment section so that you can go subscribe to her channel. You know, if you have any inquiries, um let her know and yeah, get connected. Mm -hmm. Um yeah and thank you so much you guys for you know coming through it's been a struggle to connect with the time difference i'm in the us here in the uk the time yeah. difference is crazy. crazy but i'm so honored i'm so happy that we finally were able to do this you know because i have a child you have a child it's it's yeah. crazy because we crazy. If, if she was around 
you'd have oh seen God. her she would be the one interviewing you and it's that's chaos. right <laughs> basically i've been keeping an ear to, you know just to listen because most times she wakes up at night because it's already night here it's almost uh to get into 12 or so so i just <laughs> had to keep quiet so i can hear her if she's making sounds of waking up so <laughs> it's crazy my do i at your daughter's <laughs> age mine did not sleep at all <laughs> We so we had to like know. be with her twenty four hours unless you oh lay down God. with her, she wouldn't sleep. Exactly. I it's remember the time we would go and watch series, and <laughs> we have just sat down with our coffee cups or whatever, and then she's coming. Either she's coming or she's crying. Before she started walking, of course she'd be crying. <laughs> then she started walking. Now when she started walking, it became worse. She would worse. roll out of her bed, go down, oh and then God. walk to us like, hey here i am and exactly like, exactly we that's need what our time um, oh my so. god <laughs> <laughs> so i know what you mean i know what you yeah, mean yeah at yeah at least i'm glad i'm glad you're, i'm happy you, you know uh you actually were able to do this together and sarah still be looking we'll be looking forward to this and somehow <laughs> it was not just forthcoming i was wondering is it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so thank you guys so much for honoring the invite it came on short notice we have been trying to you know get to meet to chat and it's been failing so i'm i'm glad oh. finally we we're able to do this thank you so much yeah. lucas for coming through thank you comfort and thank you guys you. Thank thank you, thank check you. them out and subscribe and also if you like their channel you know stay as friends you know this is what it is let's support each other all right yeah. so thank you guys again for watching we'll thank see you, you so in the much. next video thank you bye, -bye. bye. thank you <laughs>